In today's analysis, we'll go over DI resets, wall splat combos, and spacing traps from Igo, Rico Suave, and 77 Days, starting with DIs. What Igo does is a drive rush medium punch, drive rush crouching medium punch into the DI. Do you know how there's always the crouching heavy punch in the DI? You can do that as well, like mid screen, but it is a little harder to do. Usually because of the wall, you won't have the chance of going underneath them. You can just do that and it'll hit him pretty much guaranteed. But in the case of doing it mid screen, you might have the chance of doing this if you do not delay the crouching heavy punch. In the case that Igo did it, it's a lot, to me, is what I feel is a lot easier because you can immediately drive rush after. You don't have to worry about timing, the delaying, or anything like that. You just go straight into it. Use whichever you feel most comfortable using. After Super R3, he does Drive Rush Medium Punch, H Kick, Drive Rush Cancel into H Punch, and then he does a Light Kick to DI Reset. When it comes to DI Resets, you can use any of your cancelable lights. And the same thing is true of a Drive Rush Crouching Heavy Punch into Light Punch, Crouching Light Punch, and a Light Kick. If you use it a lot, the opponent might get used to that. But if you mix it up inside your combo like Rico Suave did, they might not expect it. In the same vein of that combo, you could also do Driver's Crouching Medium Punch instead of H Punch as well, and it'll still work. Same with Crouching Light Punch. instead of dry rushing in, you can also dash forward and get the same reset without using any of your meter as well. In all instances of the cancelable lights. One thing I wanted to talk about in terms of the wall splat is that you can't do a dry rush hit after an OD palm. If you hit them with a regular OD palm in a stun or a DI punish, it'll be fine. But once they're a wall splat, it just will not work. So you can't do a dry rush H punch after the OD palm, but you can do an H punch, which you can dry rush out of that. Crouching heavy punch into OD palm, H punch into light palm. That uses the least amount of resources, which is only three bars because of the OD. And then from that, you can go into super. If you have all your resources and you want to spend it all, from that H punch, you go into drive rush crouching heavy punch into heavy palm. And then go into super from that. That is a good way to spend nearly all of your meter, but it doesn't actually burn you out if you're full bar, so that's a good thing. Now, of course, if you have level two, you can do a heavy bakai instead, and that'll, that'll be even better. A very common thing that I see Jamie's do is a light kick, H-punch into the crouching heavy kick drink. If they were not blocking and they are not touching the ground when you hit them onto the wall, you'd have to do the light kick immediately. Light kick and then H-punch. So then you can get the crouching H kick in because the camera shifted up a little bit but if it doesn't, you just can't get the heavy kick in, so... If they are blocking it, their feet are on the floor, you can wait until their knees hit the ground before you do the light kick. Ooh, okay, this is a fun one. Crouching heavy punch, dry brush, tensei kick. And then from that, you do a delay jump heavy kick and then you could jump and get a medium punch dive kick. And even better, if you do an OD dive kick, you can get the super R3 from that as well. If you don't want to spend any resources, you can always go for the regular crouching heavy punch into Bakai, palm, arrow kick, 
If you're at level 4, you can cancel the headbutt into a dry rush crouching heavy punch and to a heavy palm. Woo! I finally got it. It is difficult, but very flashy. But there's so many things that you could do. It really all depends on what you want to do, how many resources you have and want to spend. Those are just some examples that you can do. He does the safe jump, medium punch, crouching medium punch, a back dash, and then a medium palm. And by doing so, he's at a perfect spacing so that the opponent cannot light kick punish you, which normally every palm you do can be punished by a light kick. But in this scenario, so you can see it will whiff. You can then medium kick punish their light kick whiff if they do do that. If they often try to light kick your palms, you can use this, trick them into thinking they could punish you, but in reality, they can't. Also, if they do a crouching medium kick, if you're standing, they'll poke your toes. So you have to watch out for that. You're safe from a light kick, but you will have to block a crouching medium kick. While testing the medium palm, I found that sometimes it didn't work against certain characters like Kami, Jury, but the thing is, it does work for them as well. The only thing with it is that if you do the medium palm before you're fully finished with the back dash, there won't be enough pushback for you to be in the safe zone. If I do it immediately like that, turn on the light kick, she'll punish me. And then it just, it works. When you backdash, you have to wait until he fully, like, gets out of the animation of the lean back. Because it's such a minuscule detail. You can actually also use light palm in order to be safe from a crouching medium kick and a light kick. If you don't do the light palm fast enough, you might be pushed back too far when you backdash. And here I backdash, right? Then if I do a light palm... Sometimes it hits, other times it doesn't. And I'm guessing maybe it's because of the way that the character moves. You know how like Ken moves back and forth a lot? Let's see? And the same with the crouching medium kick as well. It whips. But yeah, from there you can punish that. And the same with light kick, I believe. It should still work. But the thing is, if you're slightly too slow, you might not reach them in time. See, like that. You could still hit them, but if you do it too late, you just completely miss it, so. Some characters, you can punish their light kick with your medium kick. Other times, their light kick is too short and too fast that you would probably have to use a crouching medium kick to reach. If you do a crouching medium kick and they instead try to go for a crouching medium kick as well, they most likely win against yours, like this. Do it at your own discretion. If you're more worried about them using crouching medium kick on you, by all means, go for the light palm. This spacing works with all characters, just make sure about the timing that you get those right. Anyways, thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. See ya!